Alright, so what's up guys? So I've seen that there's like no tutorials on YouTube about the things I need, so I had to figure them out by myself. So <clears throat> the thing I'm gonna teach you guys today is how to migrate from bungee cord or waterfall to velocity. You might ask, well, maybe I did that already, you know. So a few days ago, I was on bungee, right? Look, I have my bungee cord right here, bungee guard, and waterfall. <clears throat> now, here's the thing. This, right here, this, this right here is useless. You cannot put fabric or forge servers on it. I still can't on velocity. <laughs> I'm trying to find a fix, but yeah, you get the point. And to switch to velocity, you are first gonna go on a new tab or whatever. And anyway, you're gonna go velocity download paper MC. And then it's just gonna give you the Wikipedia and stuff. So you're gonna go here. And you're not gonna get waterfall. It's basically waterfall to switch to waterfall, it's pretty simple just delete the bungee cord file and drop in the waterfall but for velocity it's a little more complicated so what you're gonna do is you know get velocity which i already have here and i renamed it and you're gonna drop it in and make a folder just for a backup for putting like whatever files you think are you know and so we are going to start up the server. I mean, for me, it's already started, but right. It is you gonna like make a batch file with exactly this. I mean, you don't have to put this in, but I put this in, so I have no issues, you know. So I know what the issue actually is for the packet. Now, you're gonna put XMX 512 megabytes, like the max usage. I like to have it on 500 megabytes because it's it's basically one of the medium kind of thing. Now, you're gonna put dash jar and the name of the file and then dot jar, like the velocity file. I recommend you rename the velocity file for you, for the thing here to be easy. If you want, you can add pause or exit. You can add exit to, you know, just exit the command prompt. And you can put pause to see what the error was. Now, I'm not going to save this, you know, I don't want to damage my file already. And you're going to get the forward the secret file. And the velocity that T O M L. Well, here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0, like four times 0, 25565, if that's the port you want. You know, for me, I want this because when you put Survivor Craft applications that row, for me, it's like, you don't have to put the two, you know, dots like this, If like these two dots. And then if I would have put six instead of five, then you had to put the dots. You know. Here, the MOTD is the description. Now, it won't work with this. It will only work with the hashtags. Just a pro tip, uh, make, a, make all the tags caps. So that's... How it works now fffff is basically white just that's all i know <laughs> online mode is basically if you want cracked or well not cracked i recommend putting it on false well, false false if you want people with crack to join and true if you want people without crack like preview people who paid it's way more secure with online mode true I do not condone any piracy though. I don't like piracy. I just 
you know. Now, should we forward IP addresses? Now, this, if you do have servers under 1.12, you have to put Bungie Guard. Well, at least one server. I have the lobby, which is 1.12.2. It bothered, will just not work. I don't think it will, because here it says from Minecraft 1.13 and higher. Legacy, I would never recommend Legacy. It's basically bungee cord, but it's really bad. It's not supported that much. None is, well, trash. Absolutely. The little shit. You, I recommend putting bungee guard if you have a server under 1.12. And modern if you have like 1.13 and higher servers. Now, if you put bungee guard, you have to download bungee guard. But not on here, though. You have to download Bungie Guard on all of your servers, like not the proxy, the backend servers. And you're gonna go into their config and add the key you find in the forwarding secret. So, yeah. Now, this, I recommend, I don't know. If you, if one of your, if, okay, so if your server runs a simple, if your server, let's say lobby, right, let's go in the paint, it's better if you're going like this. What well, I don't have paint, okay. So, let's just say, you just have a, a lobby, and in the lobby, well, in the lobby, right, through the proxy, you have a, a Ford server connected, and you want this the proxy to know, wait, I have a Forge server, please enable support. So if you have a Forge server, you're going to set that to true. Now, if enabled, then the proxy will kick an existing player who is online. So basically, this, if the proxy is online mode, I think right here, Velocity will kick a player, the player who is online. Like, let's say you're on and someone, a hacker, tries to connect. It will kick you if you enable this. Now, here, I don't know what this is. It's basically just pass through. Passes only the mod list. I really don't know what this is. I don't. I have not experimented with this. Now on the servers, I have my IP link here. So yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna show the servers. You just put one two seven, just like one two seven that zero that zero that one, and then the port. I mean, it could be two five seven seven no, five five seven one. You know, that 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 could be right. The server. Now you if it if it is hosted locally, like on the computer, for example, like I have some servers here. I have a bunch of them. Since I have a bunch of them, it, they're all hosted locally on this computer. You see I'm on a remote desktop. And you can just put this if it's hosted locally for faster ping than you know, like faster response time for the server. Now, if it is, well, not hosted on the local machine, oh, you well, then bad luck, bro. You gotta put the IP in and end up for it, of course. Now, if this, if not enabled, the player IP addresses will be replaced by something else, which is kind of buggy, I think. Also, the config version, don't touch this. This is basically. If you put it to 2.6, for example, like, some things will disappear or not work properly, so don't do that. Now, I'm gonna put save. And basically, if you have chosen the modern, 
you are going to go into the four week secret and then go to your one of thirteen servers, you know. You know, for example, this server, you're gonna go into the config actually. Wait a Alright, so as I was saying, uh if you find like the velocity here in paper global, and then you just enable it and you know put your key in. I'm not gonna show the file because I have my key in on it. Yeah. This is for one of 30 plus servers. If you run Bungie Guard, you have to go get this forwarding secret that I showed the file, right? There you go. Plugins. You gotta you're gonna need to download Bungie Guard at each server. And you're gonna go Bungie Guard, you're gonna go config, and then you're gonna add the thing. It's pretty simple. And yeah, this is basically how you migrate. For me, that was basically it. If you have any questions, let me know, and I'll try to fix them. But uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm not that experienced, you know. I'm still a starter, you know. But yeah, this is basically what I wanted to, you know, make a video about. Because I, I haven't seen any info in any, like, videos. So yeah. Let's get to the next one.